G'day, Tom Peter Gillespie here. Tom Gillespie, for those of you following the Fake Fluence of Film project, hashtag the Fake Fluence of Film on the social medias. Now, I have been working on this investigation for nearly a year now, and yeah, exactly. Just a few days off a year, and I've learned a hell of a lot about the crypto economy and especially those actors uh, that operate within it. And I've, I've been lucky enough to speak to some of the uh, titans of industry, as they like to call themselves, and do you know, what I've realised is that there are two types of crypto influencer in this world, this crypto world. There are the kind of influencers that have some influence, and then there are those influencers that don't have any influence at all but pretend and also manage to garner a small income off the back of that uh, fake influence. Now, I'm more preoccupied with the second kind of influencer, obviously, hence the name of the film. And in my investigation, which continues to this day actually, I've realised that influence as a concept is kind of like how spicy snags and non-spicy snags are sold in the same supermarket. Now, let me explain. When I go, when I'm going to put on a barbecue, a barbie, you have some mates around, a couple of lagers, a um, couple of Bundys, etc. I go to the supermarket, pick up the beer, pick up the Bundy, and then I get to the sausage department in the supermarket and I'm presented with an array of all kinds of colours of sausage. And often it comes down to Am I going to buy the spicy sausage? You know, we're told, we're often told spicier sausages are more healthy uh, for your digestion after you've eaten. You know, they help with your digestion, especially if you're having one to eleven beers with your with the barbecue. And my, I myself, I absolutely hate spicy, spicy sausages, but I'm presented with a dilemma because I know that non-spicy sausages are going to be just perfect. There's no risk that my guests will not be satisfied. And so I often just, I shop for the, for the non-spicy sausage. And in doing that, I'm guar somewhat guaranteed to not upset anybody or be overly controversial at the barbie. Now, influencers and fake influencers are a little bit like that, in that they, the spicy sausage is the more controversial uh, influencer with a, who's much more capable of creating controversy in a manageable manner, whereas the regular sausage the sausage like that you know what you're going to get because you can see straight between you can read between the lines like bitman 360 he's your regular sausage trying to be a spicy sausage and in doing so he's conjuring some sort of controversy but failing to actually have any credible influence in a positive light in terms of wealth generation if you're talking about cryptocurrency which is what seems to be the only motivating factor now, how does that all tie into my documentary investigation film? There is a third type of sausage. It is a Swedish sausage. And it's neither spicy nor regular. It's some sort of weird hybrid that doesn't know if it's going to piss off your guests at your barbie or entertain them endlessly in a manner that will increase their bottom line. I think part of 
me wanting to produce this video is that I wanted to make that crystal clear, okay? Now, my film does not pertain to be the spicy sausage or the regular sausage, but it's slowly becoming certain that it's going to be some sort of higher bread like the Swedish sausage. And if you're the kind of person that can't decide when you're presented with such sausage choice at a supermarket, I believe that the film will very much be of value to your eyeballs and your brain. Probably your relatives will find it useful as well. I've been Tom Gillespie. Uh, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can hit, hit me up at tompetergillespie at gmail.com. We use Gmail because it's convenient and everybody else does. So, Australia hasn't invented their own version yet, but I'm sure it's being worked on as we speak. From one investigative journalist to another, you can play a role in disrupting the crypto economy scam artists along with me like I am doing right now and have done for over a year. Just pull your finger out and get it done. I'll see you next time.